So Corvus OS was back with Android 12.1 and I have already made a video on this one that Corvus OS Android 12.1 base the latest version is out and about the first impressions I've already shared with you my opinions we're gonna talk about some device specific things here in this video so stay tuned first of all if we move on to the settings you can see the settings UI has been revamped and looks good by the way it's just my opinion you can see something different is here device settings and Corvus settings customizations are included not much but still good enough to use it on your device and yes it's not awesome enough as i will tell you why so we have the android 12 and yes this has the april security patch available apple security patch new build as android 12 has been released a lot of times ago and even android 12 l 12.1 all these versions have been released so far for most of the devices corvus OS came with very after a very long time if you move on to the default launcher which i was not able to show you in the first impressions video the default launcher is not the quick step launcher it's not the launcher it's not the pixel launcher it's actually might be a corvus launcher which includes a bit of extra features for you for example the themed icons developer options in developer options you can see some experimental features available here and there so if you want to customize these features you can very easily and if you don't want to use this you can simply use a pixel moded launcher for available for android 12.1 and i have a video already available let me talk about this feature called all apps themed icons this is how it is looking like and yes it's looking absolutely good but if all apps were themed that might be very helpful that might be really good but right now only these only few of the apps have been themed so yes you can simply ignore this option right now and you can also enable or disable themed icons and the search bar you can also enable or disable the monitor theming very easily so yes this also looks good this is what you have about the latest corvus os version 12.1 or corvus os revolt version based on android 12.1 if i move on to the quick settings panel and try to find out this option called fps info unfortunately it's not working in quick settings panel it's not working but yes this option is there working perfectly fine if we talk about the mutual tool devices available in xiaomi parts but right now in this one this is not working unfortunately if i move on to the other options for animations etc in android 12.1 all these animations are available the with the power menu has these animations the internet tile has all those animations etc whichever you were looking for everything is already there the no notification text is also at center which you have in android 12.1 so all the android 12.1 features are already included blur is not introduced but if you need blur you can simply enable that very easily and i have a video available on that one too so make sure to check out that if you want to enable blur on your devices same like that if you move on to the camera section it is not the by default camera actually which i'm using right now this is called gcam go moted version by shami and as always credit goes to the developers and if you want to install this gcam this gcam is already available on my website on my tech current cloud channel so make sure to check out that if you want to install this thing by default the camera is the normal one but if you want to use this gcam go edition which i'm using right now is just working perfectly fine so yes no issues in this gcam i haven't installed the normal main moded gcam but this gcam is not looking that bad so yes you can install it on advice if you want to the photo portrait etc things are working perfectly fine this gcam go mode is little bit better than the normal gcam go moded editions so that's why we have included this one if you move on to the safety net status which matters a lot yes safety net status in my case having no issues although i haven't rooted my device so if you also want to use this build on advice on a mere tool device and you don't want to root your device you can use it and you can simply use all the banking apps ptm google pay etc etc the best part is the room is actually good in the terms of performance too i tried it and of course i don't believe in those scores so i'm not going to talk about the scores which you have in cpu throttling and we have the geekbench scores and to the scores but real time performance is what matters that's why i am just telling that this might be a very good room in the terms of performance if you move on to the google photos and if you want to take a look at the backup quality etc yes you have the backup option available in full original quality unlimited full backup available for you and this option is available as an option so you can turn this off if you don't find it comfortable the option is available in the settings which i will talk about later on so stay tuned for that one and now moving on to the settings option 
the settings ui etc i've already shared with you in the first impressions video but as this is also kind of a video about corvus OS, so we're going to talk about those things of course if we move on to the device settings let me show you some things here for example xiaomi parts which is already included if you click on the xiaomi parts we have the mi sound enhancer which is quite useful and here we have the fps info overlay which i just told you at the starting of the video was not working there in the quick settings panel but in this one in this xiaomi parts we have the fps info overlay option available which is just working perfectly fine if i try to enable this option it will work for me let me show you and yes this is how it is working and this is what you have by default available in this xiaomi parts and you can see 60 fps it's just working my device does not support 120 hertz of course i'm using me tool device me tool does not have 120 hertz option if i use this broom in redmi note 10 pro then i might see the 120 fps 120 hertz refresh rate other than else things are basically same you can't extract the colors from wallpaper as expectedly but you have the custom monitor theming option available so this might not be a bad option if i move on to the app section you can see no option for the gaming dashboard unfortunately even that gaming dashboard is not available corvus room and does not contains the gaming dashboard looks little bit different here and if you move on the miscellaneous as it mentioned here we have the unlimited google photo storage as an option in buttons and navigation bar we have the option called volume rocker we have the power button related customizations including then that if you move on to the notification section the heads up related options are available this does not contain major customizations but customizations which are quite useful quite necessary already present here battery section also has same kind of options available for you battery styles charging animation which you can enable or disable if you want to as i'm using this room for more more than two days most probably um i found this room quite good so far the lock screen also has bit of options available for you same kind of thing with the quick settings panel where you only have the option related to brightness in the upcoming updates we might see extra features new features very soon so yes if you're excited for this one like i'm also i'll see you i will try to make a video on the new update very soon whenever i get that and maybe i will get that update in redmi note 10 pro also i will try to make a video for redmi note 10 pro users too the theming yes it has the custom on it theming option available as expectedly so if you want to use this thing you can fonts customizations are already present as expectedly we have some icon pack customizations available which you can apply on a device we have signal icons customizations we have the wi-fi icons customizations and some icon shape customizations are included some things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you link is already in the description this is all thanks for watching i will see you in the next video until then goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air